welcome to or welcome back to my channel um today we're gonna be filming a little juicy questionnaire session um i don't know if the questions are actually gonna be really like juicy or like personal but i just thought we sit down and do this i've also got a little drink with me um which i spill but we're not gonna talk about that because i'm actually really sad i just wanted to take a quick thumbnail before i finish my drink like before I started filming and then it just flipping spill. It's just like this chocolate drink that I make all the time um, in the summer because it's quite hot today. Surprise, surprise. I mean, I'm saying that whilst wearing like a turtleneck and a long sleeved, but like it's like sunny, so it's good weather. Like basically a little chocolate syrup type thing, which is basically just hot chocolate powder and a bit of boiling hot water. And then um, you're meant to pour that over ice, but obviously I didn't have any ice. And then you add like milk and then just mix it together and then I added a bit of whipped cream on top because I love whipped cream and it's a chef's kiss of a drink, I love it so the first question is what's your favourite food? and this is from Jaya and that, mate, this is not personal at all but, um, my favourite food I don't actually know because it's like there's different types of food I feel like I've answered this question before, I probably have it's like I have, I love my Indian food because surprise surprise I'm brown I love like different things like my Punjabi like cuisine I don't know and then like there's other food that I just love like I could basically have mashed potato all the time I can have pizza quite a lot I mean like that's kind of basic I'm like everyone else I love pizza my favorite place to eat so I don't know if you know this but like I don't eat out that much that's not me trying to be like oh I'm so cool I'm so different but like me and my mom just genuinely don't obviously I do every now and then so I feel like some of my favourites would be like a Domino's pizza. Domino's is like, you know, perfect. I don't know why I keep going like chef's kiss and whatever. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, Prezzo's. And I'm so sad because the town that I live in, they flipping shut down Prezzo's. Like they fully shut down Prezzo's. And I don't know what I'm gonna do in my life anymore. Like I can't go into the restaurant and get a Prezzo's. I have to go all the way to another town. I was about to say what town and then people that don't know me in real life and could come and stalk me oh this is a good question my biggest regret oh my gosh i don't want to do the whole like oh i don't regret anything because everything happens for a reason blah 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 because i know for like even though that is true and like if i didn't make mistakes in the past like no my mistakes in the past have made me who i am i feel like we all still regret something i feel like it's kind of cheesy but like not taking advantage of like non-covid times like when you could just ring up your friend and you wouldn't have to worry about social distancing and all this stuff you know like when you could literally just text your friend and be like hey do you want to meet up at like the shops downtown and let's like go buy some stuff and like i don't know like i think spending time with families and friends like i know for a fact that so many people now won't be taking that for granted like before like we wouldn't have noticed like how big of a difference this thing kind of makes in your life i don't know if i'm making sense so i think my biggest regret would be like not cherishing those moments as much as i should have i haven't there's like these one cousins i don't know if they watch my videos um but my cousin yasmin and jasmine like i have not seen them in over a year and that actually makes me so sad because i obviously miss them so much like i love them most. i don't know if they watch my videos it's gonna be really weird if they don't but i don't know just like spending time with people like i just wish I would have, wouldn't have just been like, oh, it's fine. I'm gonna see them next week anyway. And next week, anyways. Or like, you know, when like you're just sat around and like a summer day and you're just not enjoying it. Like, why did I do that? Like, go make the most out of your days. So if you're sat here watching this video, thank you. I love you loads. Maybe finish the end of, to the end of this video because I don't want like people to just click out the random part of my video. But go enjoy the rest of your day, please. Like, go do something fun to make you feel so much better. Next question type thing is. Okay. Who are your favourite influencers slash social media people? Love you lots. I love you so much too, Emily. Um, I don't know if you actually watch my YouTube videos, but if you do, hi. <laughs> I just do like, oh, that was so weird. I like have so many. Like I follow so many people because like everyone's like got their own little things that I love. So count me a little basic British girl, whatever, but I've been following like Zoe, Zoella, since I was so young, like five, I wanna say. Yeah, because she's been on YouTube for 11 years. So yeah, since I was five, which is insane. 
like now she's flipping pregnant which i know she won't ever watch this video but congratulations zoe and alfie so excited for them oh these three youtubers i've watched for the past like six or seven years oh my god i don't think it could have been that long <gasps> maybe it is six or seven years whoa yeah um i don't know if like people have heard of them but there's like yaz online but she now like her youtube channel is like now like yaz caramel i don't know how to pronounce my last name i'm so sorry caramel caramanly caramanly i want to say i'm so sorry if that's really wrong there's also these two other influencer people called like evie and olivia grace i don't know i feel like i talk about them quite a lot i don't know if i have um love evie and olivia grace on youtube um they're two separate youtubers but they have like a podcast and everything and they've really been talking about like mental health and everything recently i'm just loving it also cameron sullivan i don't know if people know her or whatever she I, i'll make like a little list or like put their instagrams on the screen i mainly follow a lot of mental health focused people because i think mental health is very important um like normalizing it and just being more open and and like helpful with each other and just being kind beings i really hope we're all kind beings if you haven't done one kind thing to anyone or yourself today please go be kind to someone and yourself next question kind of thing just melts my heart because it's i don't know it just makes me really happy um it's also from emily so emily your question makes me very happy <laughs> It's, would love to know more about your religion and what it means to you or anything to do with that. Only answer if you feel comfortable though. And of course I feel comfortable with answering it. Um, I, for people that don't know, I'm a Sikh. Um, my mum's a Sikh, my whole family's basically been Sikh. So I kind of like grew up into the religion of Sikhism. It's a religion that most people know about, but also a religion that not many, like it's not well known, which is quite sad because it's like one of, the six main religions out in the world. Religion to me, without like sounding really cheesy and like, you know, it's kind of like, if I didn't have someone to believe in, I feel like my hope wouldn't be like, as strong as it is, if that makes sense. I know for a fact that me and my mom both strongly believe that if it wasn't for our religion and like God and whatever, that mum would like we wouldn't be in the position that we are now so for me it's something that kind of is hopeful and it's like a light at the end of the tunnel sort of thing but my religion um i think i have a little thing on my instagram let me quickly check it's a little highlight and it's got like loads of different things about my religion i'll put it up on the screen as well um the first main things are just about like hate crimes that have been happening to Sikhs recently because no one really talks about it instagram has this thing where they like to disable the com like the hashtag seek or like sick because if you pronounce it with like an actual accent it's sick but um yeah about a couple of things in there is a little post about my religion but my next question is kind of linked to what i was talking about earlier with mental health and it's just basically ways to better your mental health let me have a little drink first. I feel like mental health and bettering it and everything, there's just so much that we could go on about with mental health, which I'm kind of getting a bit of a youtuber -y idea here, like maybe a series where we just talk about like mental health and advice. I feel like that would be quite fun. Let me know if you want something like that, like a little series on my channel maybe where like, every now and then i like post a video and we talk about mental health and like maybe i can put up like a little thing on my instagram or something and we can like talk about like specific scenarios or stuff i think that would be quite fun i don't know if you guys would want to see that but let me know in the comments or like dm me on instagram i don't know let me know if you'd want to see that because i think that'd be quite cool bettering mental health is that's like such a huge term like it's like an umbrella term you know there are so many things that come towards it there's your like the whole healthy eating healthy mind and you've got the whole oh make sure you're doing exercise and make sure you're meeting people and all those things i don't think there's like you can't make a neat and tidy box on how to better your mental health i think there's just so many factors that contribute to it and with covid surprise surprise obviously things aren't the best um as of right now i mean i'm currently in a two-week half term um but 
I'm at school, which has helped my mental health so much. But I know on the flip side of things, people some like there's some people whose mental health has gone down because we went from online school to normal school. I don't know what to call it. And people preferred online school because of like anxiety and social anxiety and stuff like that. And I feel like it's very hard to give like a little recipe, I guess, on how to better your mental health. So I think a series or something like that would actually be quite fun. But bearing in mind, I'm not saying I'm a professional. The next question, how is my Ariana? Why, why don't I just say her name like that? Oh gosh. How was your Ariana tour? My flipping Ariana tour was beautiful. I went to do the chef's kiss again, I'm sorry. I keep clapping as well. Um, for those of you that don't know, I'm obsessed with Ariana Grande. She is my life. And I've got like loads of Ariana shrines over there. I would show you, but that means I have to like turn my whole camera and everything. I'm just not in the mood. Um, but when I went to go see Ariana, it was like the best day ever. I gen okay, I can hear Jaya laughing because basically we were doing this TikTok, yeah? And it was like, oh, who's most likely to um, say that a musical like festival or something like changed their life? Seeing Ariana change my life and Jaya, you can laugh all you want, but genuinely it did. And I'm not just saying that to be all cheesy, but seeing her in real life was like the most extreme thing I've ever felt. Like it was just amazing. Okay. The next one is, what is the first thing you'll do when lockdown finishes for good? No, oh, I don't know. I'm not gonna lie, I'll probably go to India to see my family, because I miss them so much. I was meant to, so my cousins were meant to be coming last year, because of COVID. And then the plan was they come last year and then we go next year after my GCSEs. Obviously that's not gonna happen. So I think after lockdown's gone and COVID, like the borders basically open again, and obviously like it's safe and not stupid or whatever, um, I think I'm gonna go to India to see my family. So family, if you're watching this, I love you all and I miss you loads and I'm gonna come see you very soon, I promise. Um, oh my God, I actually miss them so much. <laughs> so what made you start your YouTube channel? Um, so basically, there's like two different sides. Um, when I was like really young, I would just film myself, basically like any other YouTuber. I feel like every YouTuber has this story. They would film themselves, they'd edit it, they'd fall in love with like the whole editing and filming process and they'd like upload, like they wanted to upload it to a channel. And I like had that too. Like I love filming like little days out. Like me and my friends would always film little videos. And it was just my favorite thing to do. And also like a much more meaningful side to it was that when I was young and like just growing up in general, watching YouTubers, it was like my little safety bubble kind of thing. Um, I had like, you know, your few couple of YouTubers that you're like, if you're, you have your YouTubers that are like your favourite and watching them every day or whatever like it gave me comfort and happiness and peace and I know that so many of like so many people like look up to YouTubers or like look up to just influential people in general and just are like wow like you've saved me sort of thing and to make any kind of impact on someone's life like would just mean the world to me um so I guess I kind of also started this for like a little place for people that perhaps want a friend and want to watch someone. Obviously like I'm your friend. If you don't have any friends, don't say that because you have me. That is a complete lie. You do have friends. You have me. Um, yeah, I guess I kind of just started it so that like we can have our own little positivity corner of YouTube of the internet and we have like, I don't know, oh, um, I guess I just want to make people happy and make people smile. That's like one thing that I really want to do in life is to make other people's lives happier and like better, which makes me sound like a massive people pleaser, but that's okay because I am one and I own it. I own it. <laughs> so I kind of started this all for people to just like watch when they need a little pick me up or things aren't going well and they kind of need a little bit of an escape because that's what so many YouTubers did for me. That was it for today's video guys. Um, give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed and maybe comment down below if you want to see that little mental health series I was talking about because I would love to film it. I will see you guys very soon with another video.